Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James. Hope you guys are all doing well and we're back with another episode of Complete Subnautica Sunday. So previously we were exploring the Aurora ship and we've now got to the point where we need to build a base. I've got nowhere else to store any of this stuff and I know we've got some messages waiting for us but I think we can establish that we're pretty much the only one who survived this crash. Let's just swap this stuff over and I need to go and grab a load of titanium. I've just been throwing the raw metal on the floor down there so we've got plenty of titanium and lots of stuff to build with. Let's just take that and don't need the silver but I'll just grab all of this titanium. Now I've got a good idea of where I want to build. Haven't explored around here I think this playthrough I want to set up somewhere near the mushroom caves so we're going to go and have a hunt around for that area we've got a beacon to put down I should have enough titanium on us now to build a multi-purpose room we have been scanning lots of the wreckage so there's other things we can do we've got the reactors if I can find a thermal vent we could power the base through one of them but it's more about the area that I want to set up this time. Now I know there was a giant piece of the crashed ship near where we're looking for. So I'm just going to go and have a hunt round for it. Not sure if it was just on the border of this kelp forest. But yeah, I'll have a hunt round and we'll come back. Okay, I think I found where I want to build guys. And I think if we put the first multi-purpose room down on the top of this red kelp shelf. Below us is where the entrance to the mushroom caves are. And where's the habitat builder? There we go. Just put that on slot 5. Used to play an arc so it works slightly different. And up and the multi-purpose room yeah so when it comes to base building on Subnautica the very first thing you put down everything else is built off of so and that is just slightly wrong so if, I want it sort of basically dead center on top of this rock so say so around about here I'd rather not have any of these posts just clipping through the rock. This one might on the corner, but I think that's about as close as I can get it. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Okay, yeah, that's all gone down without clipping through the terrain. And there's some other shelves around us that I can put some outdoor grow beds on. Perhaps we can also exp expand the base backwards and use that shelf behind us as well in some way. So let's just put a place to get in at the front and we need a hatch. Every time we add a structure we lose a bit of integrity on the base as well. So we really need to put some more reinforcements down. But I didn't bring any lithium, I must have bought lead instead. Okay, yeah I bought the lead instead of the lithium. So we need to head back. I can't even get in the hatch yet, so I need to go and get some quartz. And we need to come back, but before I do that I best put the beacon down, otherwise I'm going to struggle to find this area again. Okay. underneath here out of the way and let's just rename you nothing fancy we just call you base okay right let's go and head back to the life pod and bring as much as we can over we're going to need a load more titanium to build more of these rooms so let's go and grab that and I'm thinking if we come out the back we can somehow work up to one of them shelves at the back there so yeah I'm liking it 
Okay, so I've filled up with a load of stuff that we're going to need. And... Firstly, let's get the hatch on the front. Uh, quickly, Habitat Builder. Need one way of getting into our base. And there we go. So there won't be any oxygen in there at the moment. Um, oxygen production but we should be able to get enough to power some oxygen if we put a solar panel down. However, that's not going to serve to do much in this base. So we're going to need more than just solar panels. I'm thinking we're probably going to have to build a bioreactor as we didn't find any of the thermal vents. So, right, let's just grab uh, another compartment. Oh, sand sharks. Just ignore them. They're harmless, really. Um, he's going to have to get used to me living here. So do I want to come off the back? Maybe not there for the power plant. I want to use some of the curling corridors, but I don't want to curl it straight away. So that kind of puts us halfway towards that shelf. And then if we use one of these curling corridors, um, right in there, no, in the habitat builder. Yeah, the L compartment. Let's put that there. Now hopefully if we put a multi-purpose room on the end of this, it's not going to clip into that shelf behind it. And I think that's about perfect. Fantastic. Everything looks good. Okay. Yeah. Let's just take a look in the seam off. I'm liking it. Okay. Now I will use some of the glass corridors. Let's get some reinforcement down. So I always think it's best to put the reinforcements in the corners here, as you're not going to build any corridors off of these. Um, there we go. And that adds plus seven. Really start putting them in before you start adding the windows. And put one here. I might regret putting one there because we might want to build a corridor off of that. Or maybe come out from the back so it runs straight through. There we, yeah, we'll be okay. Okay. Um, solar panels. So we just need a copper ore to put the solar panel down. So we're going to have to go back and grab some more stuff, but before we do that, if I build a couple of storage crates, at least we're not taking stuff back to the pod. We can go back with an empty inventory. Right, I want to get two of these down and I want to sort of line them up in the centre. Get a little bit OCD about this stuff. <laughs> Okay, and one more, say about here. It's hard to line them up. Great, yeah, they're both even. Let's just shove this little bit of stuff in our locker. Then we can bring more back. Okay, yeah, I'm liking it. Right. Seconds. So I'm going to need to get some copper and actually craft some stuff to be able to build a bioreactor. So we'll have a look at what we need, craft it up at LifePod 5 and then we'll come back. Okay, so I've put a solar panel down. It's night time at the moment. 
so it won't give any power but you can see at the top it says 0 of 75 so once we've had one daylight cycle this place will have enough power to just give us some oxygen so I say we didn't find the thermal vents we can't use that and it's gonna have to be the bioreactor for now which requires a wiring kit and some lubricant now I was thinking about putting it here but the bioreactor is actually quite a large piece of kit and it pretty much takes up a whole multi-purpose room so I don't think I want it there I think I want to put it above so we're gonna to have to go back and grab some more copper and yeah we're gonna to have to craft up some lubricant as well a couple of other bits that we need obviously once we put our fabricator in here we won't have to keep coming backwards and forwards, so that's also the next mission. And better empty the inventory on here. There you go. Been keeping a load of them old batteries as well, which I do have the blueprints for a battery charger now, so they will be useful. Let's just shove them in the locker so we can carry more stuff back. And the posters, of course. Gotta have the posters. Okay. So, been having a little think about where to shove the bioreactor. And I think I'm gonna build Welcome another multi purpose Captain. room on top of this room in here and put it up higher. Okay. So, right, so let's go and do that. And then hopefully raising this multi-purpose room up one level, we can build some more corridors off of it and not cl clip through that shelf at the back. We might have to go up a third one here. I'm not sure, but we're missing a little bit of titanium. I should have that in storage. It's actually handy having this storage on the seam off now. Might only be a few spaces, but it does come in handy when you're out. Uh, I just swapped the diamond round. We don't need that right at the moment. I made some wiring kits. We've got the lubricant as well. Okay. Oh, sand shark's back. You're gonna have to get used to me living here, mate. Right. Um, some reinforcement. Again, just in the corner. No, I'm not going to build out this way. There we go. Another plus seven to integrity. When you get the moon pool on your base, that certainly takes a lot of structural integrity, so... Right. Now we need to put a ladder in. And... Let's just stick the ladder here, and... So we're missing titanium, I think, again. Got plenty in storage back here. Okay, let's just grab all of that. Shove that over there, and you as well. Oh, not that right. Right. So perhaps this room, our makers. I don't know, the cafeteria or something, but have the bioreactor up here, because as you can see, it takes up pretty much the whole entire room. A okay. Is a critical step towards self so it's not active at the minute. We're going to need to get some fish in order to do that. To and I do have the aquarium blueprint, so that takes two glass and one titanium. So I want to build a an aquarium next to the bioreactor. If we can breed some fish, then we've got a constant supply of fish to feed the reactor. And that should be enough to sustain us here. And also, I want to put a window in, so it requires one glass. I think we need three glass. And we need to put a fabricator in in order to do that. Right, where's fabricators? 
interior modules. There we go. So we just need a little bit of titanium. We have plenty of that. Just going to shove that on the wall right next to the storage as well. Okay, and glass. So we need some glass. Okay, so there's a couple of bits of glass. And I'm just thinking about a window here. Feels a little bit claustrophobic. Don't know what it's going to look out onto. Yeah. Okay. It's the crash ship in the distance there, or a big part of it. The aquarium. I'm still missing one piece of glass. We needed three. Um. Let's grab a couple of quartz. We already had some. And in here, resources, glass. Two quartz to one glass. Let's get this aquarium built. Then we can use our bioreactor. Okay. So. Let's see. As close to the wall as I can get it, just out of the way. There we go. So, now if we can go and find a few fish. Preferably the Reginalds, which I haven't found yet, but uh, they provide the most food, and water, and probably one of the most efficient things to run the reactor on. So if I can find a few of them and breed them, we can shove. There we go. Um, don't want that one. Spade fish. There we go. Some boomerangs. Oh, look, they're the Reginalds. There we go. So, if I put a few of the Reginalds in the tank, obviously you need more than one to breed. That's a hoopfish. Of course, having them in the tank as well, it's easier for food. Don't go after chasing them. Okay, it's another Reginald. So, if we shove them in the tank, we can get another one. And that should be enough just to keep us going. It looks like there's one here. Oh, and a spade fish. New creature discovered. Oh. Is that a creature egg? Creature egg of some sort. Um Can't find any bladder fish. Okay. I think that should do us. And at night it looks quite cool down there, as you can see that mushroom cave just below us. Which we'll have to explore next time. Let's just grab a couple of these mushrooms as well. Shove them into the reactor. Okay. So at the top there it's night time. You can see we've got 61 power of 575 capacity. Now, if we shove the Reginalds in the tank, they'll start breeding, and then we should have something to feed the reactor when the power starts going down. And Okay, so the mushrooms will work. They do something, or at least a little bit. As you can see at the top, 71, 72, the power's going up. I think that should be enough to sort of sustain us. We might get a couple more solar panels down the more we expand. Perhaps the scanner room might end up costing us a little bit of power. We also need to put a battery charger down and that will also cost some power. Okay. So I've built a couple more bits in the back. I put the room underneath the bioreactor as a cafe, but we need to get ourselves a bedroom. We've been sleeping in the escape pod since we crash landed here. And I want to build a corridor. I can't do it from inside, but I'm going to have it coming out from the back. We're going to use one of the glass corridors.
I'm thinking, there you go, and you can see I've put a table in the window in our cafeteria area. We managed to get a vending machine as well. There we go, so putting that glass corridor there, we can see across to the cafeteria, and it's not blocking the view from there. We'll stick another multi-purpose room here. That can be our bedroom. Of course, all these things we need to complete the game. <laughs> We've got to complete it in style. And once again, we just put a little bit more reinforcement there. There we go. Gone up to a total of 25, but if we put this window in, it'll take it down 1 to 24. Okay. And the moon pill will take the integrity down quite a bit, so we do need to reinforce it. Okay, liking it. Captain. Got our batteries on charge now. now. I just need to make some fibre mesh and we can make ourselves a bed. And I'm just put that against this back wall here. Where are we? Yeah, exterior, interior. It's under miscellaneous. Yeah, we'll go for the double captain's bed. Just want to get it lined up in the center here. I think that's about right. We need some more titanium. There we go. Just sort them through. I need the mesh. Okay. There we go. We've actually got somewhere to sleep. And we can look out at the crash ship, just to remind us that we've got to escape. Stick a wall planter on. Brighten the place up a bit. We need to get ourselves some posters up. Much more comfortable. Okay. Where are the posters? Yeah, just at the bottom here. And what should we have? Prawn suit poster, perhaps. Natural Selection 2. I believe that was a past game from the developers of Subnautica. So that's just a reference to that. And I think the cuddly toy represents another game that they made. Some uh, some sort of card game. But uh, just a couple of references to their previous games that they made. Now, I'm just going to put the prawn suit poster up here. There we go. Prawn suit Mark 2 which we're going to have to build because we got the blueprints from the Aurora for that last week. I like it. Just get our cap down. So I risk my life to grab it. And we put the cuddly toy down on the end of the bed. Like I say, I think that's the cuddly toy that represents the card game that the developers made in the past. Don't hold me to that, but uh, I think that's all the time we've got in this episode of Subnautica. We've managed to get ourselves established for the first time now. We've got a little hideout, but there's still much to do. I think next week we'll be exploring the mushroom forest below us, and we've still got some base expanding we can do. Doesn't look like I can go to sleep yet. I'm not tired yet, but at least we can get a good night's rest tonight. Got ourselves a cafe. I think we've pretty much bought everything we need over from the life pod, but that's about all we've got time for. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you're new here and you'd like to see more from myself and the Subnautica series. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.